Rob, when we sit and reflect in the summer, whatever happens, that, that feels like it might be one of those we look back on as a, such a massive three points. Yeah, I, I agree. I think it was a, well, I know it was a really important three points. Any, any three points at this stage of the season are, are really key. Uh, but after the week we've had, backing up the four points that we got from Saturday and uh, Tuesday, it, it, it felt today like, you know, we did, we put the pressure on the lads a little bit as well, you know, we've got, we've got to find a way to win this game and they did. And you've talked about playing with injuries and, but, yeah. and those who have them just carried on and there was a real determination to preserve that clean sheet. Yeah, there was. I mean, Swansea pose you a lot of threats, as you all know, and, and they ask a lot of questions of you without the ball because they're so good with it. Um, and they're going to make us run and at the end of a really tough week, they, you know, we've got to go and we need our energy. Mm -hmm. And we probably lacked a little bit today. Um, was that the thinking for Campbell coming in then to add the bit well, no, extra? No, Pe Pelly obviously came off the other day mm. and just feeling his groin slightly now. He was, he was okay, but um, Al, we know what he's going to give us, loads and loads of energy. So you've got no problem. I don't, I don't you know, uh, him coming in, we're just, we're just strong. Um, and he certainly gave us loads and loads of that today, didn't he? Which he, which he always does. He was great. Um, but. I, I felt we probably lacked a little, a little bit of that energy and that intensity, and probably in the first 20, 25 minutes, I'm trying to roar on from the sidelines, but it's difficult to, to have an influence. I just felt when we played with a bit more intensity and played forward and ran forward and got some action going, we probably lifted the crowd a bit, and we got then we did get, start getting some chances towards the latter end of that first half, and thought we deserved the goal. A bit disappointed then we couldn't, then, you know, go on and then get that second. But they made one or two tweaks and. Um, and, and began to get a little bit more control and we retained a threat on the counter-attack as the game wore on but we probably didn't, you know, uh, we weren't able to press with the same intensity that we, we've been able to do in recent weeks. Uh, it was a similar sort of game to Burnley if you think about mm -hmm. it in terms of in, in how Burnley play and I felt we did that that night for 96, 97 minutes today, it was a bit of a different way but that's fine, you've got to solve problems and, um, and we got over the line. And Carlton again on, on target, he's probably one of those who isn't by any means 100% but he perseveres and he gets his goal. Yeah, I can't speak highly enough of the man, I mean he's been brilliant, you're right, he's, you know, a number of them are playing through pain now and um, you know, he's just he's gone out there again and scored the winner for us, he's such mm. an important um, member of the team and the, and the group and the, you know, he's a real leader. We can see what it means, certainly plays at the end, but temper's a little bit frayed just before the, uh, before the final whistle? Yeah, a little bit, you know, I probably started it all off by appealing for... Yeah, I gather it, we, what, what, Russell said it was your what, fault. What, yeah, he's blamed me as the... Uh, um, you know, I felt there was a, a hand to the face and I have a look back, whatever there was, I've come on and sort of appealed and then it's just the emotions running high, mm. two teams desperate to win and fighting for, not literally fighting, but, you know, desperate to win and uh, that was all it was so uh, you know it's probably one of those boring ones but yeah there's some coming together a bit of handbags nothing else mm. um, but one nil you're always on edge a little bit but you've sort of kept them out as you say the only thing was you could have done with putting all our minds at rest with a, with a second somewhere or yeah. creating the chance for a second yeah we're loving a one nil win um, but yeah you're right again our second goal certainly calmed things down mm. a bit we did have our chances didn't we um, it's good again, I know I keep saying it, it's great that we are creating those chances, we're still looking a threat, so I know we keep doing it, keep doing the right things, then more goals will follow. When you're difficult to break down like we are, you know, um, then sometimes then the one is enough, but, but I agree with you, I would mm. like us to get another one. Try and but nonetheless, you have my heart to... <laughs> upper place in the league. Yeah, I, you know, again, we can only control what we can control, and that was doing the job today. And, and where we end up by the end of the day is, you know, it, it is what it is, that side of it. We can just control on us, and, you know, the next game we start, I'll try and enjoy this for a little bit, but then it moves on to a pretty tasty game, Sheffield United away, and they don't come much bit more difficult than that. So we'll recover, we'll get some rest, we'll try and look after the boys because they're going to need a bit of that, wrap them up in cotton yeah. wool, uh, and then get to, get to work. And, and we look forward to that. We've got to enjoy it. How, how, how good is that? Mm. You know, going to Absolutely. Sheffield United, they, they, they created an amazing atmosphere there like we do here. And, and we've got to go and enjoy that game and, and have a right good go. I'm looking forward to it already.